What's going on, guys? Negan's back, bitches. I say, um, this is the latest Walking Dead that we got, um, recently from Robert Kirkman. And thank God it's another Negan story ahead of us. Um, th this is, um, a sequel to this book right here. I should have showed you guys this in the previous videos. Um, Solitary Life. And this will be before Solitary Life because Negan gets exiled and then he's on his own and then he. And starts from here, from start to finish. That is, so this is how it should go in order. Um, there is a comic book called Rest in Peace, and that's the last Walking Dead they ever made. Um, I don't have that yet. It's the um, Rest in Peace is whenever Negan doesn't answer the door for Carl. Whenever Carl brings him some supplies to his house or some shit, and we're all thinking that Negan is mad at Carl, but turns out. It turns out that Negan went back to the hospital to where it all began from him to proclaim his wife's, um, Lucille's body, her corpse that is, and give her a proper burial to bring back to his house, the bury that is. So it turns out he wasn't mad at Carl or anything like that. And I'm really hoping that Carl does come back. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, I have some theories about this comic on what could happen in the next one. They're obviously going to make another one, just because of the ending. Um, I'll get to it eventually, but, um, yeah, let's start from, let's start, guys, alright? Let's go. <clears throat> right. Negan, um, talking to some flowers, again. Says, you, you fucks, thing, I want to come back. I hate to reveal my plans ahead of time. I prefer to keep people guessing, but you should know, I'll probably keep coming back until every last one of you sorry your fucks is gone. I don't exactly expect you take that as good news, but it is what it is. Again, he's talking to some flowers right here. Um, he does this in the previous one, and this one is sunflowers, and these ones, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what kind of flowers these are. I think they're daisies or some shit, but anyway, yeah. Unless, uh, um, you guys can pause the video and shit like that if I'm going too fast for you but yeah he's, he's going crazy somewhere and then take some flowers to his um, baseball bat Lucille um, grave that is Again, this is the the baseball bat that's buried. This is before he actually goes and gets his wife. <laughs> hey, lady. And this is when he mourns her. Shit like that. Yeah, it's kind of sad. And then there's this little bed right there, some food. And these are some vegetables that he sees rotting away. I assume they're rotting away because why are they black like that? When I first saw this, I actually saw this as the remains of the previous bat that he had. That he was going to restart his tribute to Lucille. But it turns out it wasn't. You know, the bat that he, he tosses into the fire at the end of the issue 174, Solitary Life. Yeah, I, I thought this was the Lucille 2 all burned up. But it turns out it wasn't. It's was actually carrots and vegetables and shit like that. <laughs> Fruits, shit like that. This is like how out of nowhere this girl shows up named Lucy, which is really, really coincidence that her name's Lucy and judging her right off the bat, there's something off about this woman that he knows that, like he knows that there's something off about her when he first sees her at first sight. 
because Negan's like has his thought about like how can there be a clean, very nice, gentle woman out there in the world in the apocalypse and he knows there's something definitely off about this woman. I like her right there, she's kinda cute. And this is when they eat some wabbits. Wabbit. Wabbit. I fucking hate wabbits. Funny if he said that. <laughs> I fucking hate wabbits. And this is when they grow on each other a little bit. And, and judging by this face right here, he knows there's something extremely off about her. Because just the way how she came in and how mysterious she is and shit like that. And the fact that Negan is alone. I have a feeling that this is all a hallucination. Because you don't see her in the Rest in Peace. And the Rest in Peace takes place after this comic. And you don't see her with him, which is kind of odd. So who knows what they have for the, her character that is. And this is when he's starting to get creeped out and, and doesn't feel comfortable with her around. And Negan's not stupid because he knows that he's being watched or some shit or something's not right. This is like how she gets underneath his skin. She's trying to grow on him already. And Negan's like, okay, where are they? That tears it. That's it. He's like that. Because he knows there's more of her out there watching them. He thinks it's a setup, a trap, that is. He thinks that he's being watched and shit like that. And Negan's like, no fucking way. I do not buy that shit for a minute. Horse cock sucking shit. <laughs> Why can't she give him that sexy look on her face? Like she knows. Y you got me. Oops. It's like that sort of thing. And these guys ambush him. Derek. A guy named Derek and Barry. They should have two men that ambush Negan that is and she's telling him no don't do it I think at first she kind of hated well not really hated him but she wanted to kill him and take all of his shit first but sh since she kind of grew on him I think she likes him because she refused to kill Negan right here she and me so yeah I think she had to change her heart that she really likes Negan Yeah, this is when they tackle him in the ground. And this is when the Renegan buries a hole for himself. When they force him to do that while they watch before they kill him. And Negan's like, go ahead, just kill me already. I don't care. Like that sort of thing. Because Negan at this point doesn't really care if he lives or not. Yeah, the guys are named Derek and Barry. And her name is Lucy. I like how he talks about his wife right here. It's very emotional. Look how she cries during that story. <laughs> I would too, probably. And this guy's being a dick about it. He thinks it's funny. He really wants you to hate this guy right now. That Negan can like break his jaw off with his shovel. Like you, you really gotta hate the guy. The guy is laughing about his 
Negan's backstory on how um, ignorant he was to his wife before she had the cancer, before the world went to shit. That is. And out of nowhere, these zombies appear. The, the zombies ambush them. Barry goes down. And there's Derek fighting them off. Lucy's just screaming. Not even helping. <laughs> and Negan's fighting back too. With the shovel. And Negan jabs the shovel in his heart. Finally puts him to an end. And Negan's like this. Now you have fuck fucking shovel in your motherfucking heart, you motherfucker. You stupid motherfucker. You should have just shot me while you had a fucking chance. Negan tries to cut him in half with the shovel, but fails at it. He just kills him with the shovel. I would beat the I would beat the shit out of him with the shovel. That's what I would have done. This is like how the shovel is big right here and there, but once you flip the next page, it's fucking short. <laughs> I guess they weren't thinking clearly. And she watches in horror. Well, Negan got done killing Derek. That is. Negan tells her nicely, "Get out of that, get out of her grave." And she's like, "Her, her grave." And Negan's like, "Yeah, my wife. Not the fucking bat. No." <laughs> I love their bond here. She's still out there rotting. Probably a fucking skeleton by now, just lying out in the open on the floor of the hospital room. Where I left her. And Negan's like, You wanna come with me? And she's like, You want me to come with you? And Negan's like, Sure, why not? And Negan got himself a girlfriend. And Negan's like, Don't you wanna see what happens fucking next? And Negan's like that. And then he has a smile at the end. He gives off that Negan smile that he always does. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys like the comic. Um, this is pretty much about it that we got. So far, it kind of left the door opening because it says, do you want to know, do you want to see what happens next? And Robert Kirkman probably put that as a hint to us, and we all said, yes, of course we want to fucking see what happens next. I I'm not sure about you, but I, I want to see what happens next because, <laughs> I mean, it's the next chapter to Negan's journey. Obviously, so I actually do want to know what happens to us next. Because um, I am, I'm actually hoping to see his wife again, Lucille, her corpse dad is. Because you only see her in the, the prequel origins of him. Whenever he um, bashes her head in with a fire extinguisher. Because she's a zombie, obviously, and she died of cancer when the world went to shit at the last minute. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to... Uh, what the next chapter in Negan's journey is going to be all about. And I'm too, I assume we're not going to get it anytime soon because Robert Kirkman only releases comics once a year, sort of thing. So the next one will probably be next year or the year after. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward. I'm dying harding and looking forward to what's going to happen next. Uh, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to it, guys. I really am. So, and I'm glad they made a new Negan called Negan Lives. So, that's awesome title for that. But, that's pretty much about it for this video, guys. I um, hope you guys um, liked the video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, I have a theory about this. Um, I do not think that, that Lucy girl is real, just because her name's Lucy. And the fact that he's going crazy, Negan, because you don't see her in the next one, which is kind of odd. Um, rest in peace, that is. The one that we got. 
the last issue of The Walking Dead. Because you don't see her with him, which is kind of weird. When Ricardo goes to his house and leaves supplies there for him. Supplies, that is. So it kind of has you wondering, is this all a hallucination or some shit? I don't know. So who knows what they could do with Lucy. Could she die off in the next one? I don't know. I really hope not. Because I actually like her. And I'm actually hoping that Negan is happy with someone. Once again. Because I hate to see him all alone and shit like that. So, yeah, who knows what the future would bring for Negan. Um, I'm actually hoping they would do more spin-offs for Negan. That or a few other arch nemesis, whatever it's the governor. Well, I'm not I'm not a governor fan, but I love the cannibals. The Terminus. Uh, I love the... The Whispers, I'm actually looking forward to seeing a Whisper origin story or a... Because we never got an origin story in the comic book. Um, we never got a spin-off of neither of those arch nemesis. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that on what set them over the edge and what they do after Rick's um, storyline. So, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys um, liked the video and I'll see you guys again in the next one. And yeah, see you. Bye.